Hello everybody, Vikingsman18 here, back again in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 season mode. We are on the Raw story, uh, I forget what last match we had, I think I lost to Becerra or something. And that kind of sucked. But anyways. Waking an angry giant. Few superstars would put the big show at the top of their own personal hit list, but that's exactly what Carlito, Chavo, Guerrero, and Daveri did two weeks ago. And although they tried to make it seem as if Triple H was a member of their group, show isn't convinced. I got hot at Triple H because I was pissed at what Chavo and those guys did to me two weeks ago, but after I calmed down a little, Triple H pay me, played me some voicemail messages. They left him trying to convince him that I never believed that he was innocent, which I guess says something about how stupid these jerks are. But Big Show is worried about trusting anyone after what he's been through lately. My gut tells me that Triple H is telling the truth. I'm teaming up with him tonight against Daveri and Chavo. I'd be pretty disappointed if he needed any help with those two runs, but I'd rather keep him right next to me where I can keep an eye on him. Okay. This is Carlito, and you just made the biggest mistake of your career, my friend. Tonight, Daveri and Chavo are going to teach you what happens to anyone who crosses us. Just like your pal Big Show learned two weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> they put it in a different language. Interesting. Okay. Undertaker. No crowd reaction. Just like real life. and welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the site of tonight's live Raw event. And Pittsburgh has gone completely crazy for the superstars of Raw. And who can blame them? Not me, King. The Steel City's in for our treat tonight. And I can't wait to get... Oh, I forget the controls already. Oh. Right Didn't want to do that. I've got to say, JR, I'm really impressed by what we've seen here tonight. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoops! There goes the referee. Oh man! And now there's no one to 
keep order in this matchup. Wow, there's a hole you don't want to find yourself in, JR. You sure don't, King. We've seen many a superstar cap out to this one. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars oh. genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. What are these idiots doing? Here we go. What a jerk. How about continuing the match? I don't think he's in any hurry in this one, King. And I don't think the crowd wants Sure, I'll just keep talking. Sounds like this crowd's got something. He's got his opponent by the arm. And show up all you want. But it's not going to win you the match. No, but get the crowd behind you can certainly give you the edge. Well, that backfired. Get him out of the ring, ref. Do your job. Chavo's always talking about living up to his family traditions, Jr. But if I were his family, I'd make sure that his invitation to the family reunion got lost in the mail. If you can't appreciate Chavo's ability, that's your own problem, King. Personally, I think the Guerreros have every right. This is a mistake, Jr. Everyone knows that overconfidence costs superstars matches. That might be true, King. But all I see is a very popular superstar who's got everything going his way. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win. He isn't fooling around here, JR. Not for that category he is in. Oh, what a deabilitating maneuver. Oh, oops. He's going for the cover, JR. I never looked up how to rope break. I mean, how to drag their bodies. Up, I just found out. <laughs> I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been a hot day and he's going for the pin. He almost had Oh man. That was close. You gotta give Big Show some credit, JR. He might be Come on, get that dude out of there, ref. Jesus. He's not very bright. Oh, you're a spring king. I'd love to see you try to say that to the Big Show face. If I could figure out a way to say it using only one syllable words, I'd do it, J. We could be looking at a pinball here, folks. These super I don't I'm trying not to pin them. I'm trying to do other things. Did you ever think you'd be watching these superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR? I have a feeling their ads are gonna cross sooner or later. And I'm glad I'm here to see. Didn't want to do that. It almost makes it worth having to sit next to you and listen to those corny expressions of yours. What the heck is a government mule anyway? It's what you get beat like. We're in the middle of a slobber knock. And if you don't have the guts to stick around, you might run like a scalded dog with a case of the liver tape. All right, all right, enough. Oh, are you serious? Before I have to come out here with you again. Oh boy. This could be the beginning of the end. No, it can't end like this. Come on, do something quick. I think this crowd has decided to exercise the right of free speech. God bless the First Amendment, JR. What a submission hold. Could this be a tap out? It is if the hole can't be broken. You can't take this kind of pain for long. What the heck? Why'd I run that way? Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, it appears he's looking to put his opponent away here. Oh man, the pedigree's the way to do it, that's for sure. Oh no, that last shot busted him wide open. One of your lines, business is he's a three count away from a pinball. Yay! Well, as if we weren't already aware, the bar is sure full of himself. For what I want. He's full of something, all right. The 
Oh, boy. I think the bar is about to get what's coming to him. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Nothing new or anything. Okay, backstage sources have just confirmed that following the events of last week's broadcast, Daveri has suffered serious injuries and will not be medically cleared to perform for at least two to three weeks. Injured by a chokeslam from Big Show last week on Raw after a tag match against with himself and Chavo against Triple H, Carlito has demanded a rematch against Triple H with Carlito in the place of injured Daveri and Big Show banned from ringside as punishment for his actions last week. When WWE.com pointed out that having Carlito and Chavo take on Triple H minus the presence of Big Show is not exactly a rematch, Carlito refused to comment and ended the interview abruptly. Whatever. Freaking handicap matches. sense of camaraderie here on Raw, and that Carlito and Chavo are standing up for their friend. That's very cool in my book. I think your book might be missing a few pages, King. It was Big Show who injured Davari, and he's not even involved in this match tonight. Look, JR, Carlito's grieving right now, and I have to say I think it's pretty tasteless of you to question his motives when he's still so upset about Davari. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Boy, nobody's starting to think that he's back the wrong horse. Choosing Big Show over Carlito's crew sure has put him in a tough spot tonight. Well, tough or not, I'm sure he has no regrets about his choice of allies, King. I have to believe that he'd rather back a thoroughbred like the Big Show rather than a bunch of jackasses like Carlito, Ch Chavo, and D Davari. He may take his lumps, but at least he's taking the high road to get there. Let's get this over with. Hold on, clean superstars can steal their opponent's finishing move and use it against them. Stored finisher. Ah, uh, okay. Welcome to Raw, live from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Jim Raw. Hey, we're from Baltimore, Maryland. This is where I am. But I think tonight's show is going to be the best one ever. You might be right, King. Oh, that's a DQ, Rev. Come on. Every week, and that shouldn't be a surprise. I don't understand why you like Carl. 
Carlito so much, JR. What, did he lie to you and tell you that you were cool or something? I've never been accused of being cool by Carlito or anyone else, King. Quite frankly, I'm not sure I'd know cool if it bit me on my Oklahoma Sooner backside. Why in the hell did it take me so long to get up? God, I was tapping like crazy. He's gonna have to eat those words by the end of this match, JR. He's a slippery devil. God, it, 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 like the only running grapple he has is that move. Like I'm trying to do it multiple times and like push the stick in different directions, but he doesn't do anything. Come on, ref, get that guy out of here. Jeez. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their career. No question about it. And there's a little something for the crowd. The best superstars never ignore their fame. The best superstars also finish off their opponents get up. instead of giving them time to recover. No, god dang it. aggression look at the way these superstars have been going after each other they're not playing he's going out right. this could backfire oh I missed <laughs> these three worth a try are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight they've already got a pretty good really on that JR they have been deep king I don't think there's an ounce of quick between them yeah and that's where things get dangerous oh here we go what a jerk how about continuing the match I don't think he's in any hurry in this one. And I don't think the crowd wants it to end either. He and he's going to put my eye. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. I've had many opportunities to see Carlito up close and in person. And I have to tell you, I'm his friend. He's going in for the kill. There it is. The pedigree. Oh, no. Like the looks at this. He's got the fans behind him, King. Here's the cover, JR. One, two, three. Yeah. HBK. Triple H. on Raw, we have a no DQ tornado tag team match to settle this once and for all. Wait, Big Show can't just make a match like that. That's management's job. I don't think there's any way management would pass up an opportunity for a match like this, King. This has got dollar signs written all over it. Hmm. Rob Van Dam. Oh, now we got Taz.
Triple H, executive assistant to Mr. Mc uh, executive assistant to Mr. McMahon, Jonathan Coachman here. I'll have to keep this brief as I've currently got a lot on my plate right now. Being personally groomed to be the next chairman of the board of the WWE and you know. all. But enough about my own parallel job performance. It's come to my attention that you've earned three victories. All you have to do now is get one more for a title shot. Now I'm sure you know I'm no stranger to entering competition myself, so my advice to you is stay focused and try not to concentrate on the fact that your entire career is riding on your next match. Yeah, because it's not like at this point in time, I'm not like a eight or nine time world champion. Oh, I should have saved. These two have the look of a couple of men who just eaten their last meal, been read their last rites, and are waiting for the governor to call. They could be having a case of the liver tail. I can't believe this is actually happening. This isn't a match, it's an execution. They've been forced into a no disqualification tornado tag team match against two of the toughest superstars on Raw. I don't think that anyone's going to make me feel sympathetic towards Chavo and I Carlito. But if anything could, be cool. this would be it. Okay, let's finally get to the match. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Raw, live from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Kim Ross, here with Jerry the King. Yeah, no ball shots. It's cheap. Get up. Oh my God, that's two ball shots. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry. He might be slow and clumsy, but at least he's not very bright. Oh, you're a scream king. I'd love to see you try to say that. Come on. Oh my god, three ball shots, dude.
looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been a hotly anticipated contest. And as far as I'm concerned, it's living up to the... No question about that, JR. The fans certainly... And there's the submission! There might not be any way out of... There better be! But we're gonna see it. I think he's going for the throat here, JR. Literally, a huge choke slam! There's no question... Get him! Oh, I missed. Well, they paid for their tickets, King, and they've got a right to say whatever they want. I've got to say, JR, I'm really impressed by what we've seen. The submission has been expertly applied, and now it's just a matter of time. That's right, JR. You've either got to break the hold or get broken by it. You'd be watching these superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR. I have a feeling their paths are going to fall sooner or later. And I'm glad I'm here to see. Me too. It almost makes it worth having to sit next to you and listen to those corny expressions of yours. What the heck is a government mule anyway? It's what you get beat like. We're in the middle of a summer night. And if you don't have the guts to stick around, you might run like a scalded dog with a case of the liver tape. All right, all right, enough! I'm getting a translator before I have to come out here with you. What the heck? You saw that one coming. We're not going to get him. Come on. Charles, it appears he's looking to put his opponent away here. Oh, man. The pedigree is the way to do it. That's for sure. Oh, my God. His opponent telegraphed that one. Come on, Big Show. Take care of your freaking guy. Oh my god, he catches me every time. No matter how many times I see him, oh my god. I'll never get over the size of the big show. Seven Carlito would not reverse this much in real life. That's a whole lot of superstar right there. Oh, he's big all right, JR. He can't even go to the beach anymore because Greenpeace keeps trying to tow him back into the ocean. See, they reverse like crazy. Wow. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Okay, what does a magazine have to say? There's an old expression, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's what had to be going through the mind of Carlito when he hatched a plan to bring down the big show. But the cliche turned out to be an empty promise as the angry giant won clear victories over Carlito and his allies. Chavo Guerrero and Avery, with the help of Triple H show, stood tall over the, uh, over the would-be giant killers in one of the biggest Raw main events in recent history, proving the concept of strength in number was equally flawed. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell Carlito was thinking coming after me, says Big Show. I understand that when you're the biggest superstar in the brand, there's a lot of room for a target on your back. But seriously, Carlito, Daveri, Chavo, I've eaten meals bigger than those punks. 
I'm not scared of anyone or anything, says Triple H, but when Big Show first thought that I was with Carlito's crew, I knew I had to do some serious explaining and fast. I'm not saying that I couldn't have held my own against him, but I will say that he's the kind of guy you don't you want to have on your side, not as your enemy. Okay, I need to save. So is that storyline over? A little bit of a boring storyline, if you ask me. Hopefully there's something better, because that was, uh, like I said, kind of boring. We'll play one more match, and then I'm going to end this part. Cleaning up Raw. Interesting. What is this about? Candace. Hi, honey. It's Candace. I'm just calling to thank you for putting all of those moves on me and showing me all of those holds this weekend. You did a great job getting me ready for my singles match against Mickey tonight. I hope you'll be watching because I'm sure that we'll be putting on quite a show for the boys, especially boys like you. Bye. Honey, I'm married. <laughs> I am married to stuff. This could cause some rift. Hmm? I gotta play this? Okay. Okay. That went nowhere. Oh my god. Mickey James has held the women's championship. There's no doubting her ability, but from where I sit, she is crazier than a pet coon. Oh, she's crazy, all right, JR. Crazy like the fox that she is. The submission is locked in. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, JR. You Mickey James, you dirty fighter. Come on, get up, Candace. This matchup, JR, but it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. Oh my god, Triple H move. Quite frankly, I'd rather see a good contender matchup than see a particular superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. I've never been a kiss up in my life, King, which is more than I can say for some people. I call him like I see him, and I'm flattered that the WWE fans agree with me as often as they do. I don't know how much more of this I can stand to listen to, JR. You know what the difference between you and I-95 is? You can turn off I-95. 
Oh boy, the adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of this is a bad. No, it can't end like this. Come on, do something quick. Look at this. Look at this. My god, she reverses everything. God, come on. A textbook reversal there. And it's been reversed. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their superstar. Look at this. You're not going to win a match by insulting your opponent. No. But having the crowd behind you can certainly get the adrenaline pump. What a reversal. Oh, boy. These fans have got something on their minds, JR. Well, they paid for their tickets, King, and they've got a right to say whatever they want. Oh, no. This is terrible. You can't let your opponent build this kind of momentum. Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. Oh, no, I'm done. Oh, maybe I'm not. Superstars compete against each other here tonight, JR. I had a feeling their paths are going to cross sooner or later, and I'm glad I'm here to see. Me too. And there's the submission. There might not be any way out of it. There better be, but we're going to see a tap out right here. Boy, what a match! I wouldn't even hazard a guess. Is it bad that I don't remember Candace's finisher? What? since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? Oh, man, I think we're about to see a high-risk move here. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. Oh, I stole her finisher. Yeah. After stealing her finisher, because I don't remember Candace's. Would you listen to that crowd? Oh man, those divas are so hot. They should be wearing as best. Why? Why are they hugging? Is that Lita? What's a piece of the action? Twist of fate or not DDT. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, Lita, what are you doing? What the? It's Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie. Lita, that was perfect. It's about time someone cleaned up the filth perversion and exploitation of women here on Raw. And with WrestleMania only four weeks away, this is the perfect time to do a little house cleaning. It sounds like Stephanie McMahon made it her personal mission to clean house here on Raw. I've got nothing against a woman who wants to do a little house cleaning, but this is just wrong. <laughs> well, this should be interesting considering I'm playing as Triple H. Okay, let's check these. I'll save and then I'm gonna end this part because we're near 40 minutes. <sighs> Stephanie McMahon vows to clean up Raw. Last week on Raw, Stephanie McMahon sent Lita to make a public example of the unassuming Mickey James and Candace Michelle. Lita's in ring attack apparently have been disconnected. In ring attack not only left both divas incapacitated, it marked the declaration of Stephanie apparently have been disconnected from Xbox Live. Mark the declaration of Stephanie's intention to eradicate what she sees as the filth and perversion that she feels runs rampant on Raw. But if it's gratitude, as Stephanie expects from the division, it's from oh my God, I can't talk today. 
expects from the Diva, she may be in for a surprise. As a woman, I never felt exploited at all by Raw, says Diva M Maria. WWE has always stood for freedom of expression. Well, actually, I guess it stands for World Wrestling something. If it really stood for freedom of expression, the name of the company would be FEO. I mean, FOE. I'm sorry, but what's the question again? Trish Stratus, the woman's champion and one of the most decorated female superstars of all time, also disagrees with Stephanie McMahon's vision of a cleaned up Raw. Look, some of the stuff we divas do may be a little silly sometimes and maybe even a bit risque, but I've worked hard for the body I've got. I love showing off my hard work and I know my fans appreciate it too. I guess if Stephanie had her way, all the divas would be wearing burkas and veil as if Taliban was running the show. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking Taliban mention. So are we just gonna act like I'm not married to the woman who's trying to clean up Raw? Hey Triple H, I guess we're facing off in a match tonight, but don't worry dog, it's all good. Once we're done entertaining those fans, we'll hook up with some of the divas and keep the entertainment going all night long. See you in the ring, Big Vis. You already beat me once. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna act like I'm not married to Stephanie. Okay, this story sounds like much better than the first one. The first story sucked. Anyways, guys, this will be the end of this part. Uh, episode 2 of SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 Raw Season Mode. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you for more later.